the Lich. It makes a glorious return right at the end of Spartan Ops. And you can actually drive a vehicle straight onto it. It's pretty awesome. But I'm going to be a little bit more lame and safe and just jetpack onto the back of it. I just tried to override the Lich's security locks, but nothing doing. Crimson needs to get to the engine core rather than the... Yeah, I'm Hello and welcome once again, I'm RC Master and this is Spartan Ops Legendary Solo No Deaths. This is episode 10 Exodus and chapter 3 Seize the Power on Apex. This was the sort of most pretty, most fun chapter in this entire episode really. Miller, Crimson's heading into an area where we've lost a few pelicans. You have a run up through Apex, have a little bit of a fight at one of the far areas. Then you unlock a door and go into a brand new area. Oh, did you see what happened there? Yeah, it's one of the uh, scripted button presses screwing up again. I hit the button early, did it fine, and then walked away from it. But because I'd already done the action, I was just yanked straight to the button press. And it looks really, really weird. Again, this is one of the disadvantages of having scripted button presses like that with the animation and everything. So you actually get four invincible spawns in this mission, which is absolutely incredible and pretty fun, to be honest. And I really enjoyed having them around and having them be able to rely on them that they would actually be there and not just drop like fries. If you have four players, I think you just get two. You don't get the set second group that's up on the mongoose at the top of the hill. Plenty of rocket launchers around and heavy weapons you can give them. That's where they're most effective. They're actually most effective on the f on foot, on infantry. Uh, sorry, infantry style, rather than in a vehicle. Just going to use the vehicle, charge straight through the middle here. This is actually pretty safe. Crush these guys. And then I take some more guys out. A little bit of long range fire. Do a few circles around. So uh, this is this little area where we have a little little holdout here, sort of. And then this thing to the left is actually a massive door, it turns out. Just gonna leave those guys there. Hopefully the warthog will get destroyed and they'll get knocked out. And I'm getting shot and my sprint is slowing down. Uh, that annoys me. So three of them have rocket launchers right now. One of them's just got like an assault rifle or something lame like that. So once you go through this door on the left, this whole massive forerunner thingy is actually a door apparently. Brand new area, it's all big and wide and pretty, and it's pretty cool. I have to kill everybody there, I have to destroy some power cores that are powering a barrier to get to some sort of foreign artifact. Activate an alarm and a lich comes in. Loads of guys pour out a lich and then you can actually board the Lich eventually. You can't be quite as uh, creative as I would like, really. You actually cannot get enough height to get into the Lich when it's just sort of floating over the main play space. There's an invisible barrier underneath it, which I find highly frustrating, personally. Still plenty to kill. You do have allies. Again, invincible, which I thought was amazing. And I really wish we'd seen more of this during Spartan Ups. Especially if you're on your own. Just like, give me one or two guys to help me out. Make me feel like I'm actually in a fire team called Crimson. And I'm not just the Spartan called Crimson. And they don't just refer to me as a they for some strange reason. Surprisingly, they act more like ODSTs, really. ODSTs with shields. Because the Spartans you had as allies in Halo Reach, Noble Team, you couldn't swap weapons with them. They were like, no, we're our own independent, strong characters. We're not going to just swap whatever weapons we want with you. Oh, whatever weapons you want, sorry. Now I'm just destroying the vehicles there, so I can try and get them on foot, because they're much more effective like that. And as you saw, I was just sort of hanging out at the back of that area, doing a little bit of a supportive fire, and they were doing most of the work, really. Ah, oh, brand new area, look at that. 
green hills, fresh new ground. It's actually kind of a cool area, and we only get to use it once, <laughs> which is a little disappointing. So these guys will slowly waddle up this massive ramp. There they are. Heavy weapons ideal. I'll give one of them a binary rifle later on in just a little bit. So I'm just sort of waiting for my allies to move up and they'll take out these guys very easily. Come on, bring the fire. I'm not seeing any fire being brought. Oh, there we go. Nice. There we go. Not bad. Just going to destroy those so they don't get in them and be all useless in them. Woo! Actually pretty fun. When the Lich comes in, they become slightly less useful. Well, sometimes rather. Sometimes they'll just sort of hang out near that structure over to the right. They eventually have to go. It's currently covered by a shield and that's why we're destroying these shield generating devices. Sometimes they'll just hang out by that. Other times they'll get stuck on things like these guys. And sometimes if you're lucky, they'll actually sort of go down into the main play space and actually really engage the enemies and they'll be very effective like that. And if you're lucky, you won't actually have to do that much yourself. I wasn't actually that lucky during this playthrough. They're a little slow, got themselves stuck quite a number of times. Could use a vehicle, could just keep in one of the warthogs. Or maybe one of the mongooses. Have one with a rocket on the back. Play a little rocket race. Actually found it much more effective at getting through the level if I was just on foot. Had them all on foot. Lots of rockets everywhere. Many things were dying before I needed to get there. There's quite a number of rockets for you to pick up, basically by the crash pelicans, of which there are, let me count, four in this area, I believe. One just behind me, one over to the far right, one to the left in front of the ramp that we came down, and then one over to the far left against the cliff. The shield ate my rocket there, that was a bit weird, doesn't matter though. Just gonna have a little bit more firepower. That's everything. Shields down. So shields come down, more phantoms come in, and there's some Promethean enemies inside the foreigner structure they have to go to now, which is where you activate an alarm, and that's where the Lich comes in at that point. So at this point, I'm gonna have some allies with me. Help me out a little bit. Just going over here to not get hit by all the phantom fire to start with. Let them go away. That one closest to the structure there dropped off a bunch of suicide grunts. There they are. They won't last long. Especially all cramped together like that. See, at least the ones in Halo Reach had a sort of semi-intelligence to their self-destructive impulses. They sort of spread themselves out a little bit some of the time. Whereas they just seem to be all together all the time in Spartan Ops. So these Marines, sorry, ODSTs, sorry, Spartans, these Spartan 4s are scripted to get out at this point for absolutely no reason. It's utterly pointless. But fortunately they'll only do that temporarily and then they will get actually get back into this warhog fairly quickly, like these ones have. And at that point, start trying to get these barriers out of the way. There are a couple of covenant barriers which are intended to keep you out of this area at the back here. But it's a pretty weak barrier really, you can just sort of run them over. 
And a combination of lots of rockets and the chain gun on the Warthog will cut down all these knights. Many of them will move down, move down up towards you. There are a couple of watches I took out earlier as well. These final two ones got a binary rifle. It's actually most effective to just sort of run at them. Get in very close. Use the bonnet of the Warthog to serve as protection from any binary rifle fire you might undertake. Gonna find that binary rifle. There we go. Miller, you might want to give Crimson a heads up. Lich inbound. And there we go. Of course there's a Lich inbound. Why else would I have had Crimson trigger the alarm? So, as I said, the Lich, you cannot actually get up to it early, like you could with the one on Reclaimer in the campaign. Because there's just an invisible barrier up there. It's massively frustrating to me. And then, an obscene amount of enemies just pour out of it. And you think about how many enemies are actually coming out of that Lich, and you're just like, they must have been standing shoulder to shoulder, like in there, on every level. It's a ridiculous amount, including hunters that come out of it. And then once you actually board it, there are still more guys. Pretty ridiculous. The Lich doesn't use its main green weird super cannon for some reason. Once we finally do board the Lich, we end up stealing its power core. When, personally, I think we should have just flown it back to the harvester and then taken out the power core. That would save us an entire chapter of essentially backtracking and filler gameplay. Yeah, do use a mantis, which eh, is starting to get a little thin for me, really. Thin on the fun. Done it quite a lot already. So this is the most frustrating part, really. Because you've got four guys potentially with rocket launchers, unless they're using one of the turrets for some reason. I'm gonna give him his, the binary rifle. He's actually fairly effective at it. Binary rifle is pretty good against all types of enemies, really. If he actually gets using it. And he's not just standing way back from the cliff. And of course, since they brought a bunch of rocket ammo with them, I can use that to help cut through some of these ghosts. Look at this, not very effective are they? But I want to ride the Warthog! They become a little bit more effective later on. You're gonna have to coax them to, into being effective. This guy's not particularly effective. Surprisingly has good accuracy with this turret, but... Really, it'd be better if he just sort of got down there and actually started shooting things. I'm gonna have to resort to using the Warthog to do that myself. Come on, guys. There we go. Be a little cautious with this, because there are quite a lot of enemies that come out of this Lich. And notice that the beam gravity beam that goes up into the lich is purple at the minute and that means it's going down and you can't go up of course so you have to wait until it is very smart and then puts itself in a nice position where there's fortunately a very purposefully shaped ramp so you can get into it with a vehicle of any kind warthog mongoose ghost you can drive all of them onto the lich at the end of this if you want not much point in that to be honest see there that's a more effective place for him to be in he's invincible as well like it doesn't matter doesn't matter where he stands come on so the lich is extremely close so the lich is extremely slow I noticed that these guys are all bunched up here. Also, plenty of warthogs around here. So if those get damaged, 
and you're having to use them because the Spartans are being a little bit too timid. And you can actually swap them out fairly easily. One of the things to watch out for are these guys. Some of them are scripted to go into sort of various places removed from the battle a bit. One example is those couple of grunts over there. And yes, shoot at their dead bodies. That's very smart. Whoa. Fura didn't want that. So just gonna have to drive around the battle a little bit, get some new angles. Not particularly difficult. Oh, nice snipe there. Decided to just leave those guys in the middle of nowhere, basically. Parked it like that, so hopefully they don't get on it. Then I'm gonna rifle some guys to death. Hunters! Just to see them coming down right now. Ah, uh, they're almost there. They're close, but not quite. I think they're all attacking one Spartan. There they are. On the left there. That's a more effective position for them. On that ramp, just there. Got a fairly good angle on two areas. All three of them. Well, three of them. There's one on my right still. No, he's right just behind me, in fact. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. That's why I like it. Yikes. But if he moves up just a little bit more, maybe my guys will help me out. Getting close here. This is towards the end. Once the hunters are dropping down, you know it's getting close. Is he dead? I think he's dead. There's another bunch of scripted enemies. Gone off into that corner. Since they're stupid, they're going to get on the turret and you can just take them out from really long range. There he is. Numero three is being aggressive. Oh, more hunters. There we go. Fairly close to the end. So there's hunters come down and then there's another couple of hunters after that. Oh, not going to be long now. Despite the fact there's three of them down there, they don't seem to see them, even though he's right in front of them. Now they're shooting at him. Come on. Couple more shots, guys. Considering getting a weapon myself and taking them out. Ah, some stragglers. Now you know it's pretty much done. This random Furod grunt survived right at the end. Don't know how that happened. So. Lich boarding time. Gonna grab this Furod gun out of this crate. There's gonna be some scattered around, of course, as well. And if you're really hurting for something explosive, then take back the rocket launchers from the ODSTs, uh, Spartan Fours. That was unintentional that time. Get on board the Lich by any means necessary, Spartan. So you can drive onto it with anything, really. It's a very convenient designed ramp. There's actually a fair number of enemies, so I'm going to go onto the roof, and then there's a couple of entrances on the roof, and I'm going to shoot through them, take out some enemies, slowly wait my, make my way down into it. 
grab the core and then gonna jump off. Apparently nobody in the USSC learned how to drive a lich. So here's the front port. And this is where the Fuhrer gun comes in handy. Bye bye guys. Most of them. A couple of berserking just down there somewhere. There's just one entrance, two paths slightly lower down. Perfect entrance way for you. A couple of still alive, doesn't matter. So that's the power core, apparently, that didn't appear in the campaign version. It's a bit magical. Now you'd think this now would be a very good time to leave. But actually, you can't leave this area until it's actually destroyed. So you might as well sit back and enjoy the view. It's not particularly impressive, unfortunately. And it's still powered for some reason. Yeah, could have been bigger. Should have been like a Halo 3 Scarab style explosion. Just like completely expose the, overexpose the whole screen. And just go. That would have been awesome. See, it's still locked. And then you just leave. Fortunately, you don't have to kill anything here. You can just drive straight to the end and hit the button. After slugging through all those enemies, you've finally given a break. Right at the end. And then, of course, you have another filler mission. But uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. And it's around on the right here. You can take quite a lot of damage from those grunts there. You won't die to them if you keep moving. There we go. Absolutely done. Back into the cave system. Tap's complete. Just kind of a little look at the time. Just for interest. Not them speed running. 21 minutes, 28 seconds. And only 81 kills. But, you know, I was getting the Spartan Force to do a lot of my work for me. Uh, previous and next chapters on the left and right respectively. Check those out if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time.